Hello everyone, I'm Sneha. Today I will show you how to create a data guard or active data guard in Oracle Cloud. We will enable the DG or ADG in a single node DB system on virtual machine. Let's get started. So I have logged on to the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. I'm now going to the Oracle base database. So I'm in the region Ashburn. I'm connecting to my primary database. Okay, so as you can see, I have a database system here with 21 C version. I'm going to my database. I'm on a single node. So as you can see, my database version is 21C and my data guard status is currently not enabled. So you have to go to the data guard associations and click on enable data guard. So give the details, so I'm naming it currently as secondary. You can select your region, you can select your availability domain give the shape. Currently, I'm on a standalone. I'm on a single VM system. So my node count is one. Specify the network. Okay. Give the host name. Now, this is very important. So select if you want data card and your license for enterprise edition, you can uh, point for the data card in case uh, you do not have the extreme performance. And if your requirement is of having an active data card where your database is in read only and can also use it for reporting. Uh, also other capabilities I showed here, which are available, then you can go in for the active data card. There's a separate video on active data card which is available and you can uh, have a look at it you can select your protection mode in case you take uh, maximum availability it will be sync in case you take maximum performance it will be async so all this again all the explanation is available in a separate video okay so you can give the system password this would also be the key store password okay and yes it should be the same as that of your primary admin password and simply click on enable data card okay this will take some time So let's refresh our browser. Okay. You should be able to see a new entry about the primary database. Okay, the database state has entered and updating. Okay, so you can see here the protection mode, which we had given was maximum availability, the transport type as sync, the data card type as active data card, which will be in read only mode. So we will have to wait now for some time. The database status has gone to updating. So as you can see now, the database system, the secondary is now available. So we now have a data guard association 
So if you scroll up, the data guard status will be shown as enabled. So let's go to the secondary system. Notice the database name primary. So you will have another database created with the same name, but you will have a different database unique name for your uh, data card. Okay, so this is also a single node. This is the database that gets created with the same database version. Okay, and it will also show you your association with the primary. So now we are in the secondary database system. Okay, so this is the secondary database system with the same database name as primary. Okay, so if you see this from data card association, you can see your primary database details information. Okay, I'm going back to my primary. Thank you for watching.